Hello designers, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gigi. I am a fashion designer based in London. In my channel, I do pattern making and sewing tutorial for women's wear and swimwear. In this video, I am going to show you how to make this one piece swimsuit pattern using your own measurement or your customer measurement. If you like this video, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to put the notification bell on because on my next video, I am going to show you how to sew this one piece swimsuit. Thank you designers. Now let's get started. You need paper, ruler, calculator, scissor and marker and pen. And you also need the following measurement, your bust measurement. You need your waist measurement. You need your hip measurement. And you need your bust separation, nipple to nipple. And your upper arm measurement, back shoulder to waist measurement. And you also need to measure your crush depth. Sit down the chair and then take that measurement. Get a piece of fabric that is measured 10 centimeters long and then place in your ruler and stretch comfortably. So whatever your fabric stretch to you, so that's the measurement you have to calculate. Draw a vertical line. Draw a horizontal line of one quarter of your bust measurement. Mark your shoulder to waist measurement minus two centimeters. And draw a horizontal line one quarter of your bust measurement. Now draw a vertical line, connect with that line we did earlier. So we're going to measure our waist measurement here. Mark one quarter of your waist measurement. Mark one half of your upper measurement plus six centimeters and draw horizontal line and write down bus line. So we need to divide this line by two. If it makes it easier for you, do like I do, just get your measuring tape, fold that in half, and then you get the measurement for it. So next, draw a horizontal line. Now from this point, mark one half of your bust separation and draw vertical line. Now do your curve, find a good position your ruler and just draw the curves. Next mark out one centimeter. Draw your curve shape again. If you have this master ruler or any other pattern making ruler, it's going to be very easy for you because those rulers, they're so amazing. I love them. <laughs> Next, we're going to divide this line by two. Measure with your tape, fold in half again, and you get your measurement.
now connect the dot. I'm going to write it down so that your designer know what this line is for. So this was for our back shoulder to waist measurement. For this step, you need to do the follow calculation that is showing the screen. So you need your crotch depth and then get your hip measurement divided by 20. Whatever is equal to your hip measurement, you divide by 20. That's how much you need to add with your crotch depth measurement. So mine is 28.1. Now mark in 2.5 centimeters. Connect the dot. Next, we're going to do the side seam. Just do this calculation, your bust measurement, divide by eight. Now draw the shapes. Now divide this line by two. Draw a horizontal line. Now go up 1.5 centimeters. Now go down 1.5 centimeters. Now connect the line, draw your curve shape. Repeat the one at the bottom as well. So now I'm just gonna go over my pattern shape. We don't need those lines. Designers, this one piece swimsuit is super super easy to make honestly and the best thing about it is that if you follow the steps that i did in this video use your own custom measurement trust me you're gonna be fine just follow the rules that i use in this video and the best thing about it is like when it comes to swim we know a lot of women they feel comfortable but if you're able to make a custom made for your customer trust me you're going to have a happy customers so i say this from experience i used to sell handmade swims too now we're going to do the back piece draw a vertical line now horizontal line one quarter of your waist measurement when it comes to pattern making it's all to do with maths you have to be like no really great maths but we do a lot of maths when it comes to pattern making So now mark your crush dev. Do this calculation that is showing here on the video. Now for your crush width, mark 2.5 centimeters like we did on the front piece. Now connect the lines. You don't need to write this in your pattern. I'm just writing this so your designers can see what this line is and then what measurements that you need to add. But don't forget to label your patterns and make sure you put your size as well. Next, add your seam allowance to your front and back pattern.
for your seam allowance, you can add the seam allowance that you want it. I'm adding 0.5 centimeters, but that's up to you. It's all depend on the elastic you're going to use. So, but usually it's around 0.5 centimeter to one centimeters. Now cut your pattern piece, your front and back pattern. So the next thing is we on my next video I'm gonna show you designer how to sew this one piece swimsuit. Make sure you put it in the notification bell because next week I'll show you how to sew this beautiful sexy one piece swimsuit. I hope you enjoy making this one piece swimsuit because I did enjoy myself and it's very very easy to make like I said. I know I'm saying this because I've been doing pattern making for like over 10 years but I do believe in you all of you designer you're gonna be able to make this one piece well done